for TraderInsight.com. I'm Adrian Manns. It's January 3rd, 2022. Happy New Year, traders, and let's get right down to business. I've had lots of questions from you guys over the last year or so about trying to find the expansion setups intraday. A lot of you guys just really like to focus on the fastball setups. And today I found sort of an unusual one. So I go through and over the course of the session, I'm always looking for unusual activity. I like to see unusual options activity, unusual volume, and especially when right after the opening bell, I see something like this. A fastball expansion of range and volume forming on an intraday chart, it perks my interest for sure. Now this one is in Genprex Incorporated, ticker symbol GNPX, and it's a low dollar stock. So normally you guys know I don't like to trade these. You really have to ramp up the trade volume, make sure there's enough liquidity there to get in and out. You can see here this one has you know 10,000 share, 15,000 share bids and offers pretty routinely. So doing 5,000 shares on this is not out of the question. But if you're trying it for the first time, by all means, ratchet the size down to a couple hundred shares and just see how something like this trades. But over the course of the session, this made sense exactly the same way that a lot of the things that we trade make sense. So the first thing that I did was look for those VWAP inflections. I wanted to see where the volume weighted average price was in each of the trend moves that happened over the course of the session. Then once we had those in place, a return to that VWAP always made for a good entry, especially when it overlapped with either a FIB level or it came down and attached to one of these uh, two standard deviation bands, right? That all gave me confidence in the fact that I was probably headed in the right direction if I took a long entry on this stock that was just taken off today. When you're trading this kind of a thing, you don't want to focus on the overshoots. You want to do measured moves and you want to make sure that you're staying on the right side of the volatility. So keep measuring these ranges and don't expect to see a giant move or an outsized bar just because the stock is currently taken off. If what it's giving you is 30 or 40 cents at a time, take those 30 or 40 cents, book the profit, and move on to the next one. In terms of what to scan for, if you're using that Metastock scanner or you're using TradeStation or just about any platform capable of running a scan, just set it up to look for an expansion of range, expansion of volume, and you want to see that happening in the first hour or so of trading. Once that bar is in place, even on these low dollar stocks, what it's going to do is attract a whole ton of attention to what's going on, and you're going to get enough attention across the social media to really set things in motion. So there you have it. That's a new way to look for the fastball expansion of range and volume. It is the cornerstone of our trading business. And I know that if you keep your eyes open and your ear to the ground, you're going to find lots of these in 2022. I hope you had a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. It's the best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com.